hi hi uh, welcome to our video tutorial so in this video tutorial what we are going to do is we are, we're gonna keep developing uh, our project our number guessing game uh, in the previous video we have already uh, designed our application so we have already completed our design so in this uh, video we'll do the the actual code the implementation okay so let's get started okay so this is our design and now what we are going to do is we are going to write code for these two buttons the first one to clear gas user gas and computer gas and gas new number will generate a new number for our computer gas part okay the user the user gas is going to accept a user number Okay, so first let's try, uh, let's start with clear gas mouse click event. Here, what we are going to do is, we're going to clear our two text boxes, which are this user gas, text user gas, and text computer gas. Okay, so text user gas dot set text to empty. This is the only thing we are we are supposed to do to empty or to clear the text okay so this is done now we'll start working on guess new number here uh, there's a little trick what we are supposed to do is we are going to use uh, a random number generator class uh, provided by java library but to use that we have to have a starting number and ending number right so we are going to provide the starting number and ending number for our random class for that first we have to initialize that we have to create the random number object let's create that what we are going to do is we are going to create that class when the form is being loaded for the first time uh, before everything else we are going to make that uh, object a global class before everything right we can make it here inside our class but outside of every file or outside of all the functions so that all the functions are going to share that so we'll say random okay so random is uh, already being imported here otherwise you have to import this now random number generator we are going we will create a random number generator new random okay so this is created now we are going to initialize this random number generator with a seed with a starting number when our form is being opened for the first time which means our starting number has to have a value for the first time okay let's start it from one and ending number let's make it 10 it can be changed at any given time when the user tries to use guess new number okay so now when our form opens for the first time which means right click on the form the empty space of the form events window and go to window opened okay here what we are going to do is we're going to initialize our random number generator object dot set seed the seed or the starting number is going to be read or taken from our text box right starting number variable is going to receive the value from txt starting number dot get text there so i'm going to give the set seed my starting number variable for 
for so for the first time when our form or our window opened it's going to take starting number as one because we set the default value as one and we can change it whenever we want okay now let's see guess new number guess new number let's see let's go to mouse click event now what we are going to do here is we are going to generate a random number so int new number being generated so it's go we are going to use random number generator dot next integer we are going to generate a next uh, an integer value and we are going to use next integer with a parameter bound bound means we are providing the random number generator a range of values right starting from here to here so we have already given uh, the seed or the starting number so right here we are supposed to provide the ending value of uh, our number generator so that's what we are going to do here okay so here let's create a new variable ending number ending number is going to be uh, right from text ending number dot get text so here we provide the bound as an ending number variable so this is our number every time we click this button a new number will be generated that's what we expect okay so now uh, we can set this new number in txt computer guest dot set text string dot value of because we have to convert the new number to string value of new number there you go let's let's try this one and we'll uh, we'll keep adding okay so guess new number five another number another number another number see every time we click guess new number the system tries to generate a new number tries to guess a new or tries to generate a new number between the two ranges right okay so now it's not over right computer guess is generated and if the user guess was three then the system should say you have one okay you have guessed uh, your guess is correct or you have one if the two values are not equal then the system should say you have lost so let's write that code what we are going to do is here we are do we need to do some comparison txt user guess dot get text dot equals we have to do some comparison user guess with txt computer guess dot get text if this is true then the user is correct so we are going to show a user message j option pen dot show message dialog this one uh, let's make this one null and here we can write our message congratulations you have you have won else sorry you have lost show message dialog null here sorry you have lost try again okay now let's try our application one more time run file 
now if the user puts 3 and guess number is 5 sorry you have lost let's leave the user guess as 3 and let's try to guess again let's try until we get 3 see now our guess is 3 the computer guess was 3 so congratulations you have 1 this is between 1 and 10 so the the number to for the computer to guess is limited to one, one limited from 1 to 10 so it's a fewer combination what if we want to make it from 1 to 1000 this time the combination is too big so the user guess is going to be we uh, i mean the chance of the user to guess the correct number is one in a thousand okay okay so this is the basic implementation of our code uh, i hope you have followed me uh, till this point uh, so if you are typing uh, with me as well uh, i hope you are successful with it uh, your code should work uh, successfully uh, but if you have any help or if you have any problem with your code uh, we'll have the the project code in our site so here i'll provide you our website free sample projectives.com and you will get uh, our projects if you go to this website and also we'll have a lot of projects here so this is it uh, thank you for watching our video uh, i hope it's clear if you have any comments suggestions or uh, anything you'd like to say please uh, leave us your comment in the comment section below thank you very much for watching again